Hey guys, it's Alina here and I've got a makeup tutorial for you. So before we get started, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you love makeup tutorials and you want me to do more of them because I would be happy to do that. So this look is actually the look that I was wearing in my Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette video. So a few of you guys have reached out and asked me to do a tutorial on this look. So if you're interested in learning how to get this look, be sure to keep watching. I always start by priming my face with Too Faced Primed and Poreless Skin Smoothing Face Primer and you're going to apply it all over your face but target those areas where you want to smooth it out where you have maybe some little bit more visible pores. Next priming my eyes with the Balms Put a Lid on It Eyelid Primer. I apply this to my lids and also under my eyes. I then applied Laura Geller's Cool Lids Cream Eyeshadow in the shade Lavender Lagoon to my lid. This is going to provide a really nice space to the shadow that we're going to apply next. Next, I took L'Oreal Invaluable's eyeshadow in Burst Into Bloom and a flat eyeshadow brush to pack this color on top of the cream eyeshadow. Next we're going to use Makeup Forever Artist Shadow Palette Volume 1 and the shade I544 and then we'll take a loose blending brush and then apply this color loosely into my crease as my transition shade. I then took the Urban Decay Vice 2 palette in the color Voodoo and a dense tapered blending brush and then I applied that directly into my crease to add some dimension. And then I took Makeup Forever Artist Shadow Palette Volume 2 in the color ME930 and an angled shadow brush and I applied this to my outer V. And then I took that loose blending brush and just blended everything together to make it a nice seamless look. For concealer, I used Amazing Cosmetics Amazing Concealer in medium beige to conceal redness and blemishes. I then applied CoverGirl Plus Olay Eye Rehab Concealer in light medium under my eyes using a patting motion. The foundation I used is CoverGirl Plus Olay Facelift Effect in the shade Light Medium. I used a flat kabuki brush to blend it in. applying the Amazing Concealer again over my foundation to add a little more coverage. For the under eye area, I applied Urban Decay's Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Medium Light Neutral. I applied it as an upside down triangle and blended it in using a single finger in light patting motions. For my eyeliner, I used Jordana's Cat Eye Eyeliner in black leather. And what I always like to do is I like to line my lash line first before doing my wing. And as you can see, I keep going over it, gradually making it bigger. And then now I do my wing by drawing one solid line following my lower lash line. And then I start making that more and more of a triangle to create my wing. This helps keep you a little more steady, a little more in control. For my tight line, I used Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the color Perversion. And what I like to do is I just like to glide the pencil along my uh, lash line, looking down and trying to avoid poking myself in the eye. For my waterline, I used this beautiful blue color, which is the Sephora Contour Eye Pencil in the color Summer Cruise. To set my face, I used Revlon's Nearly Naked Pressed Powder in the shade Light. I applied it with a large powder brush, patting it on rather than swirling. To set my under eye area, I used the color Lyric from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette and applied it using a fluffy setting brush. I then applied L'Oreal and Valuable Eyeshadow Burst Into Bloom onto my lower lash line. The mascara I used is the Marc Jacobs Omega Lash Volumizing Mascara in Blacker and I applied one coat to my bottom lashes and two coats to my top lashes. To 
define my brows, I used Too Faced Brownie Eyebrow Pencil in the color Brownie. And first I like to outline and then fill in as much as possible. And then I use the little spoolie brush to kind of blend it out. This definitely takes me the most time out of my entire routine. I used Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel to set my brows. For contour, I used the shade Sombre from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I used an angled blush brush to apply it under my cheekbones, the sides of my forehead, my temples, the sides of my nose, and under my jawline. With a blush brush, I applied the color Down Boy from the Balm on my cheeks. The highlight I used is the Balm's Mary Lou Manizer, and I applied it to the tops of my cheekbones, on my brow bone, the inner corners of my eyes, and on my cupid's bow. To get rid of any harsh lines, I blend everything through with a stippling brush. Now for some falsies. I'm using Ardell Wispies, which are my absolute favorite, and I apply the lash glue directly onto the band, let it get a little sticky, and then with my fingers I put into place. And then I take something like the end of a brush or tweezers or anything like that just to kind of push it in. I always use a liquid black liner to help conceal the falsies eyelash band. To add a little oomph to my lashes, I always apply another coat of mascara with the fake lashes, and here I use Maybelline's Mega Plush Volume Express. For lipstick, I used Bite Beauty's Lip Lab 007, which is the limited edition shade and I absolutely love this color and I like to apply it first to my top lip and then to my bottom lip. So here we have the completed look. I absolutely love this look. You guys know how much I love purples and they're super flattering for brown eyes so I absolutely love this look. Plus, it combines purples with my favorite lip color at the moment. I absolutely love this lip color. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. And also, subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.